I want to talk to these guys about uh, building like a simple system. That's just like they can look at a few lines on a piece of paper and like they can just stick to that and be really, really successful as a trader. Very, very simple that you can add on to. Think about like you can bolt onto this system, like it's a bolt on system, but we got to get you something to be able to bolt onto in the first place. So, and here's how like I would do this as a, as a newer trader, like as far as just building a simple yet effective system. Number one, you got to choose what is the one stock you want to trade. Like, that's it. That's how you start your system. Like, what's the number one stock you want to trade? Okay, do you want to trade the SPY? Do you want to trade the Qs? Right? Are you more of an experienced trader where you've traded options before and now you want to kind of migrate on over to, say, uh, Tesla and trade Tesla because it's very volatile and it kind of does its own thing sometimes compared to the SPY and the Qs? Like, you got to just pick the one stock that you want to focus on and that you want to trade, right? And you're gonna do that every single day. Brand new options traders, 100%, you're looking at the SPY, right? And there's some benefits as to why you're gonna be trading the SPY. Well, you have daily expirations now, which is amazing. So every single day, an options contract expires, right? Why is that important? Like, why is that beneficial to you guys as a newer trader? Well, the reason why that's beneficial and important um, is because it, it's they're less money. Right, right now it's 11 o'clock today, zero days to expiration. And you could actually go with a, let's just use an example, a 29 Delta. You know, that's only going to cost you $66 you know, per contract. So the really nice benefit here is it doesn't cost a lot of capital in your account to open that one contract. If you got a small $500 account, you could technically trade seven of, seven of these a day. You can trade five to seven contracts or trades a day at one contract per trade and, and, and tie up all your capital. But it's going to settle for you tomorrow. And the other benefit, too, is in this type of market, the SPY makes some really nice moves, right? Or I mean, look at this. I mean, here from that bounce on up that we were talking about and it rolling back on over, it went from 392.65 to 390.60. It, it dropped $2, okay? Just to put that into perspective for you guys, right? If you would have bought one contract, okay? I know I'm looking at calls, but I'm just putting this in perspective. If you would have bought one contract, and let's say it cost you $100, like at that point in time to take that trade, okay? Right there at that green line. If it would have cost you $100 to open that one contract, okay? And you had a 30 delta, 28 delta, and your system was you're looking for dollar moves like you're going to get in and then a dollar later you're getting out you're going to make the delta so that one hundred dollars would have went to 130 dollars. that's a 30 percent return on that one trade right to put that into perspective that's a five percent plus return on your entire account right a 500 hundred dollar account you just made 30 bucks that's almost 10 percent on your small account and if you did that consistently every single day you can just see the types of compounding and the types of growth that you can actually have out of a small options account. One contract on the SPY, they're really cheap. It gives you some flexibility, right? And once you have that one system you focus on and you rinse and repeat that every single day, right? You're going to see that account grow because it's just, it's the same thing you're doing every single day. The same types of risk per trade, the same types of reward, one strategy that has a 70 to 80% win rate. And you just do that every single day, every single day, every single day, even on a $500 account, you could double that account every single month, right? And that's realistic. I've done it. That is very realistic. Some traders are like, oh, you're not going to make hundred percent. Like if you just focus on small base hits with one simple system that has a proven 70% win rate, and 70% accuracy, for example, and you have a $500 account trading the SPY where you could maybe get three to five trades a day max based on the price of the options contract, technically speaking, you could double your account every single month, right? You don't have to overcomplicate it and trade aggressive and trade risk. You can trade simple but effective, simple but effective, one strategy, one system, one expiration, one delta, one contract, one stock based on set parameters, and you just do that every single day, you're going to see some consistent growth if that one strategy that you're focused on has at least a 66% win ratio.
right? That means like two of every three trades you're, you're, you're profitable on, right? You could probably do away with that depending on your system at a 50% one ratio, 100%. So for example, like system, right? One strategy, one strategy, okay? That's all you got to focus on. And then once you understand that one strategy, you'll know what your average stop loss is on that strategy and what your average target is. And this really is, is based on Matt's approach, like Matt's trend line approach. Like he's got a system, 30 contracts off the third point of a trend line. So this is like, if I'm not, I, I don't want to butcher this, but this is really kind of based on simplicity, right? Like Matt's simple approach is, and it's a simple system, right? Stock comes down to the trend line on point number three, right? So you got point number one, point number two, point number three, and stock makes a higher high. Okay, if his criteria is met based on his strategy, his system is as follows. And this is where simplicity com comes from, but highly effective. 30 contracts, okay? So that's gonna be 30 calls in this case, 30 contracts, okay? It's gonna bounce on up 50 cents plus 0 0.50 cents, okay? Plus 50 cents. Like, let's be real. Can the SPY move 50 cents in the matter of a second? Yeah, absolutely, right? Absolutely, we see the SPY move two points in two minutes. So to see a stock come down to a trend line on point three, knowing that 70 to 80% of the time it reacts and bounces, all you're looking for is say 50 cents, that's his approach, plus 50 cents. And if it comes down below the trend line by negative, say 0.25, that's a stop loss. That's it. Like that is it. So that's all you're doing. You're drawing trend lines. You're looking for stocks meeting criteria, the SPY meeting criteria for the trend line, right? Higher high, for example, third point, right? You're looking to get in with one contract. If the SPY's price goes down by 25 cents, you sell your contract. If the SPY's price goes up by 50 cents, you sell your contract for profit, right? Two to one, right? Looking to make 50 cents on a quick bounce. You're looking to lose 25 cents. And I would say this has a 70% accuracy. 70% of the time, if you do this strategy correctly, I would safely say on average, 70% of the time, accurately trading this strategy, you're going to see a quick 50 cent reaction in your favor. And if you get stopped out, you could safely stop out at 25 cents. But let's do this. Let's just do this. Because you're probably like, Josh, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. You can maybe go a dollar. It's It really depends on your system, right? Like maybe you're like, okay, well, you know, I think 25 cents of risk is a little too too tight, Josh. Okay, that's that's up to you. You can you can play around with your system, right? You can tweak it based on what works for you. But let's say same thing. You want to buy buy at point number three, but let's say you want to go like negative fifty cents, negative point five zero. You're gonna let it breathe fifty cents because you think twenty five is too tight. That's that's okay, right? One hundred percent. Then you're looking for plus one dollar, and this will help us keep it in perspective a little bit. So all you're looking to do is if criteria is being met on the third point trend line play, you're looking to buy one contract, right? So you're looking to buy one contract right on point number three, okay? And you're looking for the SPY to bounce up plus a dollar. And then you sell. And you just sell it. Like if, if the SPY's price right here is 340, okay? And the SPY's price goes up to 340, five you sell it and you can just look at the level two the trend line for the third points at 340 you see the bit at 340 you're in you get a reaction it bounces 345 you see it on the bid 340 you sell plus a dollar you know exactly what your profit's going to be and we'll walk you through that here in a second it doesn't bounce and it comes down a little bit you're out quick right you see the spice price down at 339.50 339.50, right? You're out right away. And then based on those parameters, based on that system here, you know exactly what your profit and loss is gonna be with 90% accuracy on every single trade. Now, obviously sometimes things happen in the market. You have to account for unforeseen variables. What if it comes down to the trend line and bounces plus $2? Well, you just made two times what you could expect, 
there's that chance that you exceed your expectations. What if it comes down to the trend line and cracks hard and you take 75 cents of risk by the time you get out? Well, that's one of those unforeseen, right? Variables in the market that you, you have to account for within your strategy. So, but I would say it again, you know, with 70% accuracy, that's going to happen. And 90% of the time, you know exactly what your profit and loss is going to be based on that system. So number one, right, focus on one stock. And here we're going to focus on SPY, okay? Number two, one strategy. One strategy, what is that? Third, just for example, third point trend line, okay? And we know that there's criteria behind strategy. So you just got to get to know the spine, how it moves, and focus on the spine. You're going to know how it moves on average. You're going to get to know it, momentum, price action, you're just... One focus on one stock, you're going to get to know it really well. One strategy. You don't have to focus on anything else besides mastering that one strategy, getting to know that strategy and the criteria behind the strategy. And let's just say it is that third point trend line for this example, right? And then number three, one set of parameters. That simple. So you got one stock, one strategy, one set of parameters, and that's how you can build a simple system. Okay, and that's basically what we're trying to accomplish, right? We want to build a simple system. And that just, again, three things. One stock, the SPY, one strategy, third point of the trend line, one set of parameters. Okay, well, let's go ahead and list out those parameters. That's something we haven't done yet, right? We wanna list out parameters. So what are our parameters here? Closest to expiration. Closest to expiration, okay? What's the next one? 30 delta, and it's raining hard. If I lose internet, just you guys know. 30 delta, so we're gonna say 0 0.30 delta. You're gonna trade the closest to expiration and a 0 0.30 delta. Those are literally your parameters, okay? And then based on this strategy, right? Based on this strategy, you know what you're trying to accomplish. And let's just say that you've seen this strategy play out 100 times on the SPY, right? When parameters are met and, the, and your criteria is being met and you see plus a dollar for profit and negative 50 cents on a loss, on average, that's where the most consistency remains. That's where consistency lies based on what you've noticed, okay? So there is going to be some of your parameters there. So what are you looking to aim? You're looking to get plus $1 on SPY, right? So if you make an entry, right? This little green little thing here, that little circle, if you look to get an entry, you're looking for plus $1 on SPY, that's your profit target, right? So we'll go ahead and put that in parentheses and then we'll do negative 0 0.50 on SPY, okay? And that's your stop loss. So you know that if you see, if you're looking at the SPY and you got one strategy that you only trade and you see all criteria being met and you start to see SPY coming down the third point of a trend line, you know exactly what to do and when to do it without any kind of hesitation. You have one set of parameters. You're going to go find the closest to expiration. You're going to find a 30 delta, right? You know that if the SPY bounces off that trend line plus a dollar, you're out. If the SPY comes down negative 50 cents, that's your stop loss based on the price that you got in on the SPY, right? And based on, you got to look at your win ratio. What's the win ratio here? I would say at least 66% to be efficient here. 66% win rate on your strategy. And I would say with confidence, the average win ratio with this particular strategy, if executed correctly, will probably yield you right around that 66% on average, right? Some days they don't work. Some days they work left and right, left and right, left and right. But I would say on average, 66% win ratio. I could be way off, but that's what I see on it. You could even still be profitable with a 50% win ratio. You wanna know how? Let's just even say worst case scenario. 50% win ratio, 50% win ratio, right? How can you still be profitable, right? So that's, you know, you're gonna be one green trade on a 50% and then one red trade. 
correct? At a 50% ratio, that means you're going to have one green trade and one red trade for every two trades that you take, correct? So let's say that your average green trade, to put this in perspective, let's say your average green trade was $100 of profit. Again, just an example. And let's say your average red trade was $50 of loss. What do you have? Between your two trades, you're still plus $50 of profit. So again, you can have a 50% win ratio. That means for every two trades you take, you're going to be green on one and red on the other. Let's say your average green trade is $100 and your average loss is 50. Between your two trades, you're still netting $50 of profit. That's $25 of average profit per trade that you take. And if you can get consistent with that, all you have to do is just scale up. All you have to do is scale up. That's that simple. Just imagine scaling up little by little over the course of five years. Just little bits at a time. Two contracts, three contracts, four. Before you know it, you're trading 100 con whatever. All you have to do is scale up. If you were to 10X this, I just, I want to put it into perspective. If you were to 10X this, what would that be? And I don't want you guys 10Xing shit, so you guys know. But if you were to 10X this, that's $1,000. If you were to 10X this, that's $500. And if you were to 10X this, that's $500, average profit per trade. Just by 10Xing your position, 10Xing your average, 10Xing what you're capable of doing. So now, with a 50% win ratio, still based on the same simple parameters, nothing's changed. The only thing that's changed is how much more size contracts you're taking. Still one green trade, 10 exit, $1,000. On the red one, you lose 500. Between the two, that's, two uh, that's $500 of profit. So average profit per trade with a 50% win ratio is $250 of average profit per trade. Let's say you're a fucking monster and you're just crushing it. And you 10x that again. I mean, there's nothing really stopping you. There's no ceiling. I mean, you know, eventually, you know, you might run into an issue with like, you just can't buy that many contracts because you're trading a million contracts. But if this was a system based on one contract and you 10x it to what? 10 contracts and you 10x that to 100 contracts. I know people that trade hundreds of contracts at a time. There's, there's enough liquidity and volume on the spy to do so. So technically speaking, you could potentially get to the $10,000 of profit and the 5,000 of loss. And you're at, it's, just, it's, just, it's just about scaling when that time comes. Nothing about your system, nothing about your parameters change to get to the $500,000 days. The only thing that changes is the amount of capital you would need, number one, and how many contracts you're taking, number two, and can you tolerate that mentally? Like, can you, can you psychologically handle that kind of loss? And if the answer is yes, there's no limit on how much you can make. If you want to make a million dollars a year, you got to be okay with losing like half a mil, right? Like that's, if two to one, if you want to be able to accomplish a million dollars a year, you got to be okay with taking $500,000 of risk. Can you tolerate that mentally? Yes. Do you have a proven system that works? Yes. Then you can get to a million bucks a year, technically speaking. A lot of people can't because the amount of risk it requires to make that kind of daily profit. It's a lot of risk, right? What's a million dollars a year? That's four grand a day. Four grand a day is right around a million bucks. How do I know that, right? Well, a thousand dollars a day is a quarter of a mil. So four grand a day would be a mil. That means on this system, you'd have to be okay with losing say $2,000 per trade. Some people can't do that. That's a lot, right? To lose two Gs in a trade, they're like, dude, fuck that. I want to lose a couple hundred bucks. That's okay. That's your peak. That's your ceiling. And that's where you're comfortable, okay? But back to it, right? We're keeping it very simple. You got one stock. That's the SPY. What are the benefits of that? You know how the SPY is moving, right? You understand how economic events move the SPY, you understand what certain days, how the spy likes to move, what times you have good movement, right? Like you'll really get to know the spy, like the back of your freaking hand, and you'll like have a really good grasp on, you know, is this a good strategy on the spy or not a good strategy on the spy? Is this a day that I want to take it or a day that I don't want to take it? You'll really get to know the spy, right? Really get to know it. One strategy, you'll perfect that one strategy. You'll know exactly to a T, the type of price action and volume and, you know, all, all these different pieces of, you know, criteria. You'll know exactly what you need to see, when you need to see it to feel confident that this is an entry for you. 
right? You'll know. Like, you're not like, oh, 9 EMA, VWAP, strat. You won't be overthink. You'll like, okay, volume, price action, volume, price action, market conditions today, economic events. Like, you'll just know, like, is this one I want to take or is this one I want to I want to sit back on? Because you'll be so dialed in and so focused, not only on just the spy, but so dialed in and so focused on that strategy and all the criteria that's being met before you even take an entry, right? So that's how you're going to get to that accomplishment of, say, 50, 60, 70% win ratio because you're just focused on one thing until you master it. And then one set of basic parameters. That's how we build a simple system. Your parameters are very simple but very effective. You're going to trade, say, the closest to expiration as an example with a 30 delta. On average, you're looking to grab a dollar on the SPY. And if the SPY goes down by 50 cents, you're looking to get out. Okay, And then this was just to put things into perspective for you. So let's break this down based on 30 delta. Oh, and we got to fix one thing and one contract, right? One contract. One contract. Closest to expiration, 30 delta. And now we know exactly based on those parameters, what your average profit and loss is going to be. We know exactly what it is, right? So what is my average profit loss going to be? So average profit and loss, okay? So on your winners, based on those parameters and that strategy, your winners will give you what? If you got a 30 delta and you get a dollar, that's $30 of profit, $30 of profit. Winners are $30. Okay, that's what you're going to make on your winners is 30 bucks, right? Why is that? Okay, one contract at a 30 delta, okay, is $30, right? So if you get one contract and the SPY goes up a dollar, you make the delta. So that would be plus 30, $30. Your loser, okay, your losers are going to be what? Negative 50 cents on the SPY which is half the delta, half the delta is $15 per contract, that's negative 15. So your losers are gonna be $15. So right here, you know that for every trade you take, on average, you're gonna make $30, and on average, you lose $15. So let's go ahead and just multiply this by 10, just to continue, right, to continue to put this into perspective for everybody here inside of chat. We just want to move this over a little bit, okay? So if we know that our average winner is $30 and our average loser is 15, we know that between two trades, we're going to net about $15 on average between two trades, okay? And let's say that your average is two trades a day. Let's say that's what you're averaging. You're not using your entire account. You got a $500 account. Let's say that one contract for whatever reason cost you say 150 to 200 bucks. You're like, let's just say you're going to average two trades per day. Well, we already know what that is. Average per day profit, right? That's your average profit and loss, right? Per trade. That's going to be your average profit and loss per trade. And let's just get an idea again, average profit and loss per day. Right? Now we want to know what your average profit and loss is per day, assuming right? You have two trades. So assuming two trades per day, right? Is that fair to say? Assuming you're going to take two trades per day. And we want to just make that pop out a little bit because, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, that's assuming that we're only taking two trades per day, right? Average profit and loss per day, assuming two trades per day. Okay, so if your average winner is plus 30 and your average loser is minus um, 15, you know that your average profit and loss per day is going to be $15, okay? 15 bucks. And you know that there's how many trading days in a month? There's 20 trading days on average per month. So times an average 20 trading days, 20 trading days, so $15 times an average 20 trading days equals what? What does that equal? That's $300. So you know, based on this system, 
based on these parameters, based on keeping it extremely simple, you know that if you just follow this very, very simple one stock, one strategy, one set of parameters, K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid, but highly effective. You know that on average, which Mark Douglas will preach this, if you don't know who Mark Douglas is, understand who this man is. Buy his book, Trading in the Zone. Go watch his four-part YouTube series. This is what he talks about. You can't judge your success based on one winner or one loser. You can't judge anything based on 10 trades. You got to base everything on the on the series of 100 trades. So you're not looking at you know every little trade, win or loser. You're looking at the next 100 trades you take. All right? What is your win ratio? What's your average winner? What's your average loser? What's your average you know, win ratio, risk reward ratio, right? What's the average over the series of a lot of trades? A lot, not just one or two, but a lot. And that's how that's why you paper trade. Number one, that's why you have a simple system and you paper trade to see like what is that over 100 trades? You can actually run back tests. Like if you get really crazy with computer systems, you can actually back test a certain set of parameters and strategy over the course of a year every day and and it'll pop out, you know, what the average win ratio is. If you really wanted to do that. But again, one, one stock to spy, one strategy, third point of the trend line, one set of parameters, one contract, closest to expiration, 30 delta. You're looking for plus a dollar on the spy, negative 50 cents on the spy. Plus a dollar, you're out. Negative 50, you're out. It's got you a 50% win ratio. That means for every two trades, one's green, one's red, okay? One's green, one's red. Based on one contract at a 30 delta, Okay, based on one contract at a 30 delta, your average winner is plus 30. Your average loser is negative 15. Your average profit and loss per day, assuming two trades per day on average, is an average of $15 a day. And let's say you're averaging 20 trading days a month. That's an average of $300. And what is your capital requirement typically on this particular System, because we just built a system. That's a system, okay? One contract, closest to expiration, 30 delta. Let's say you want to play the next day out. Let's say you don't want to play the dailies. Let's just say you want to play the next day out. With a 30 delta, you're paying about $100. On average, two trades per day. You could technically have a $300 options account that's cash. Technically speaking, on the SPY, with one strategy, one set of parameters, on average, two to three trades a day max. In this scenario, two trades a day max. It's going to cost you $100 to $150 typically per contract on the next day expiration. You could technically have a $300 cash account with this system and be able to execute upon this with a $300 cash account and be able to execute upon this on a day-to-day basis, knowing that your funds settle overnight and are available the next day. So what does that mean in theory? That means on theory that if you had a $300 account and you could use a $300 cash account to work this simple system, on average, you're probably looking at 300 bucks a month. What is that? That's 100% growth. Not saying you're going to do that consistently every single month, but I'm saying... It's realistic and I've done it. I've done it back in 2020. I've done it before. Small accounts and we've seen some really nice growth, right? If you keep it simple and you're not looking for home run trades, you're not looking at risky setups, you're not trading five different, you're focused on just one focus, focus on one course until six, you're just focused, right? And you keep it this simple and you rinse and repeat. It's kind of boring, right? You would say like, Josh, this doesn't seem fun. This is boring. Do you guys want to have fun or do you guys want to lock in consistent profits? I want to lock in consistent profits, right? But if it means that I have to be bored to trade to lock in consistent profits, that's, that, that's okay, right? But we still have fun with it. We know how to make it fun. But that's just to put it into perspective for you. And that's how I build systems. That's how I built systems as new, a newer trader. I mean, my biggest issue was discipline to follow the system. It was lack of control to actually control my thoughts to follow like it was a lot of internal work but this is how i would build a system and i found a lot of success doing it and if you just follow that simple system whatever it is this is just an example with consistency um at the end of the day you know what really is holding you back 
what really is holding you back if that system yields a 50% win ratio over the series of 100, 200, 300 trades? Uh, it's just math and it's just numbers and you know math and the numbers just don't lie at the end of the day. So uh, I, that's exactly what I wanted to walk you through, how to build a system. And I use the SPY as an example. I used the third point trend line as an example. And I used uh, some of these parameters that you guys really know a, a lot about as an example. But you can do this for Tesla. You can do this for the crack and the retest. And you can do this for 10 contracts at a 15 delta. That's a system, right? You can do this for anything. You can do this for NVIDIA, right? You can do this for the tabletop strategy for five contracts. You can build that system and just stick to that system and you at least know what it's going to be with a lot of consistency. What's your average PL going to be? There's not going to be a lot of fluctuation. $1,000, 200, 500, 500. It, there's not going to be a lot of fluctuation all over the place. It's going to be very clean, very consistent, smooth. You hear a lot of traders say, I'm going to save this real quick for you guys. Right? You hear a lot of traders say the typical trader has a um, portfolio growth that looks a little something like this. It looks like a penny stock. Right, That is their portfolio growth. The typical trader, that's, that's kind of what they experience. Right, Like overall, yes, you are higher than where you were but there's a lot of fluctuation here and there's a lot of stress and emotions there's a lot of euphoria and greed there's a lot more stress and emotions there's a lot of euphoria and greed right like the pro trader will say this is your average trader's portfolio if you were to measure their portfolio like you look at a stock it looks like a volatile penny stock okay professional traders say this is what you want your portfolio growth to look like I mean, literally, that, that's boring to even draw this. But you, kind of, you guys get the point, right? You guys get the point? Right? We're not looking for all kinds of craziness. We're not looking for, you know, those million-dollar days and half-million-dollar losses the next day. We, we're not looking for all that crazy swingage all over the plate. We're looking for consistency. All right? We're looking for consistency because this right here, what I'm doing right here, is going to outperform the typical portfolio on any given week, any given month, any given year. Every now and then, you might do well, right? Hey, you hit a home run. That's that's congratulations, right? Hey, you got a little bit of a downtick, but you're maintaining. You're consi and this is what prop firms look for too, right? Prop firms want to see this. Like if you go to a prop firm, say like Top Step Trader, like and they they have a goal of like 2K. If you get it in one day, they're like, no, 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 no. We want to see you do it over the course of a few days. Was that just luck, right? Is it going to come right back down, right? Because they know this. They're a prop firm that's giving you access to their capital. They know that. They want to see this, right? Not what we just showed you in the last example. And this is what pros aim for right here. Because this, any given day, is going to outdo longevity-wise your typical retail trader that comes in that has a portfolio growth curve. That's pretty fucking crazy, right? This is too emotional. This is too much emotions here. This is too crazy. You're all over the place. You're growing, but this could be looked at as maybe stressful. This, simple, consistent, maybe boring, but not stressful, very peaceful. It's a good feeling. At the end of the day, you're still accomplishing massive, massive results. So, I mean, what do you want? What do you want? You want something that looks like this with a lot of stress, anxiety, anger, or do you want something that looks like this where you're just like, I'm fucking great at what I do. <laughs> I'm just great at what I do. I love trading. Oh my goodness. I, I would rather take this option down here than take that option up there. But anyway.